so we have <laughs> we damaged this knife in the shooting of the introduction of this video. But that's okay because the point of this episode is how do we get this knife scary freaking sharp again. And for that, I'm gonna to need to do something that hurts my soul. Sorry, knife. This is highly upsetting. But here's the thing. Knife sharpening is one of those industries where you have a ridiculous amount of merch. And it doesn't seem to matter what you buy or what you use, there's someone that believes that it's a total piece of trash. And then there's someone that's gonna swear up and down that this is the second coming of Jesus Christ himself. I'm not gonna throw this, this costs too much money. Sometimes you'll watch like a Gordon Ramsay show and he'll just be going to town on one of these. And like the implication is that he's getting ready to slice through some serious shit, you gotta prepare your knife. Does it actually work? I don't know. Okay, um, this feels duller, but you know, Classic test, let's find out. Piece of paper. <laughs> People have told me that this is responsible for just straightening the blade or removing the burrs. Okay, so... No. It's fun to interact with, it's fun to use, I love the sound that it makes, but... Regretfully, I don't think this has done anything to make this knife any sharper. Okay, so let's reset the knife. I get sad every time that I have to do this. The next thing we're gonna try is this pull-through sharpener. You can see on the sharpener all the material that we pulled off of the knife. All this glittery stuff used to be part of the blade. And <laughs> that did not work. There are pieces of this blade that are exceptionally sharp, but it's not sharp all the way through. Yeah. So already we can kind of see that this is functioning way better than this. But I was watching this one video that was talking about how pull-through sharpeners actually create the illusion of sharpness. It makes your blade edge serrated rather than sharp. The way that we're cutting isn't quite good enough yet. Which of course leaves us no choice but to do this in the most manly way possible. But first, my least favorite part. Okay, so as you can see, this knife is gunked up with all the polishing compound. And I'm actually not sure how sharp this blade is because it's got a bunch of that putty on the edge. So let's test this out. It's doing what we want it to do. Actually, I don't know if I have any complaints about this. Wow, that's really not cutting through. <laughs> In my opinion, this is functional sharp. This is, this is sharp enough for me to do whatever I want with this knife as long as it's within my skill cap. This took a certain amount of sawing in order to get to this pot. So it's sharp, but it's not like effortlessly gliding through this tomato. But there's still one thing that we haven't tried that people freaking swear by, especially on YouTube. And we're gonna see how much of that is hype. It's looking pretty damn clean. But how does it actually cut? This is 
it's causing me a little bit of stress. I don't want to be the one endorsing the expensive sort of elitist option here, but I mean... <laughs> probably took me 30 minutes using the whetstones and you have to soak them for 10 minutes in water but it was 30 minutes that I really really enjoyed and I'm almost having to like look around my house right now for dull knives because I want to do that again there's something just very viscerally satisfying about using that whetstone to sharpen this blade so a couple of final points here I'm not here to tell you that you shouldn't use your pull-through sharpener, or that you exclusively need to use Japanese whetstones. I'm of the belief that whatever works for you is the thing that you want to be using. And if you don't have time to learn how to use a Japanese whetstone, because it can take months, then there's really no reason to pick it up unless it's something that you think that you'll enjoy. If it's not enjoyable for you, then why the f*** do it? And if you're looking to do this for yourself, give yourself some grace and some time. You will get there. And that's all the time that we have for today. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, peace. And if you got something from watching, consider smacking that like button and helping me out.